Paul Worstling from Lifefish TV here at Martha Cove. Very, very early, not so bright. And today I'm with two up and coming absolute heroes of the Melbourne Stars. Hasto, Simo, I'm Worsto. Let's go catch some fish. I'm thinking maybe a 200 pound black marlin. What do you reckon? It's good. It's good. Snap you've ever caught? Oh mate, look, I'd probably say somewhere around oh, maybe. 10 kilos. 10 kilos? That. Did you catch a lot of fish that day? Oh, probably about 80. 80? 80. You must have been with a very talented angler that day. <laughs> yeah, Who were you I fishing was, with? Oh, I was actually fishing with you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask boys, what is it about fishing that makes you cricketers get all excited? Because you all seem to love it. <laughs> I guess fun? for us it's just a, a retreat. You know, you get out on the water, relax, unwind, uh, refresh before we, before we get back into another game, which is inevitably always a couple of days away. Johnny, I'd like to present to you with this massive catch. Yes. This is your Bruce Lamont's memento of your visit to Port Phillip Bay. So, John, I have to ask, what skill does it take to catch a fish this big? Well, mate, I'm not too sure. I think that rod's been in there for about half an hour. We didn't even notice. So, how well are we going? We are literally killing the pig. That is, you know, if you hold it like that, though, that is quite a large fish. <laughs> Cracking day on Port Phillip Bay, so we'll just we'll get away from the fish bite for just a minute. Oh, there goes another one. One at a time. So the Melbourne Stars. Who is the worst fisherman in the Melbourne Stars? Present company excluded. Yes, correct. Well, we weren't too good today, but I would say, oh, definitely the worst. There's been a few, but I would say probably our skipper Cameron White. He definitely have to be probably up there. Um, thinks he's excellent. I've never seen him really catch too many, so... Uh, I've, I've never seen him get a fish. No, nah, well, never have I really. He, but he keeps no. telling me he's all white, but he just can't do it. What about the best? I've heard a few rumours. I've heard a Wade, a Holland. What's the go? Yeah, they, those guys are pretty good. They've got their own little boat, so uh, I think they do pretty well out here on Paul Phillip Bay. Um, i heard Simo's quite good. Um, but apart from that, you know, we all like to get out there and have a bit of a go. But, um, but I would say probably, yeah, Johnny Holland's probably the best we've got in our squad. I have heard big things about the Holland boys. <laughs> So, boys, honest answers. How good was today? <laughs> awesome. Freezing. Nah, it was cold. It was cold. <laughs> and, and, and they were the highlights. <laughs> but the good news is we get to go home. <laughs> that is a highlight. <laughs> we have two things on our mind. One, coffee. Two, maybe a hot spa. The good news about that, it's not with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was still good fun, eh? Perfect. Good fun, no, thanks, good. mate. Thanks yeah. for taking us out, mate. Enjoyed it, even though we didn't catch much. Two little flatheads. <laughs> but uh, no, it's always good to get out on the boat, isn't it? Always good to go fishing because they say a good day's fishing is better than a bad day at work. And based on today, I can't I'll wait swap. to get back yeah. to the office. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly the office these boys play. <laughs>